Calamity! Calamity! Oh goodness! Calamity, calamity, calamity! Well, live, trans, and prosper. Hi, this is Professor Brian Duke Phillips, and let's talk about the calamity die in the awfully cheerful engine system, your favorite, or at least a convenient, tabletop RPG. When you roll dice in the ace system, uh, it's convenient if one of the die is a different color from the others. Oh, how interesting. Why would you need that? Well, because when you roll all your die, hello, I have a, I have a stat of four, or a stat of three, or more realistically for me, a stat of two, one of the die should be a different color than the others. That's your calamity die. Now, if I roll, let's say I'm trying to do uh, something that takes a 20, that's my target number, a 20 to succeed, ah, I roll. If I roll a one, if I fail, and this is definitely a failure because my total is obviously not 20 or higher. My total is very low no matter how you add it up. This is a six. Uh, if you fail and you get a one on the calamity die, then the game master or the game master will ask your fellow players chooses a calamity. A really fun one that's in the book is uh, just a a new secret trap door that just opens. You're screwed. Oh, what fun. Uh, or something else. Your gun jams or you've done something awful in your pants when you saw the ghost. Uh, but uh, that's the calamity die. Now, if you roll your stat and you make your roll, uh, let's say I'm going for 10, so three, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, I made it! I just made my roll. Uh, if it doesn't matter, if the calamity die is a one, it doesn't matter. Um, that's only if you fail it. Or um, house rules. Uh, my friends like to, even if you succeed, if you get a one on that calamity die, yay! Uh, something awful happens to you. Oh, how lovely. Oh, how wonderful. And that, my friends, is the Calamity Dog!